All right, update on ApeCoin. So we've had a very, very interesting day today. Uh, depending on what chart you want to draw it from, I want to offer a range of perspectives in this video. So I am going to be drawing from the Heikonashi candles when I do get to the end of this video. Uh, to start with though, let's draw from our short term analysis. Now, as we've been saying, let's start off with the bull in the room. Now, we've been talking about $23 for the longest time. We talked about it all the way down here when we were at $15. We were talking about a 53% increase up to $23. Last night, we absolutely smashed that target out of the water. We went all the way up to $27.80. Now, I personally told you guys I'm selling 25% of my ape when we come up to our $33 region and I plan on selling 75 when we come to 30 and then perhaps I will see what I'll do with the other 25%. I planned on taking profit around these regions also. Obviously, I've only taken the 25% profit. Uh, that was triggered last night uh, and now I'm kind of sitting on the sidelines and waiting to see what I want to do for ape because... Technically, uh, I can DCA back into Ape for a 13% uh, decrease in price, which is very, very nice. However, let's look at the charts first. Let's see where we are in the scheme of things and see if we are about to gear up for that next big move to the upside. So historically, the four hourly EMA ribbons have always been an absolute godsend in whether they're going to be the bottom on or not. Uh, historically, when we're in an uptrend, we come into the mid to short term moving averages of these EMAs and we find a bottom. So if we're going to do what we normally do, then we really should be out of here by $19. There's no uh, reason for us to hang around these regions much longer because if we come back to our first bullish stance uh, on the four hourly EMAs, when we actually wicked below these four hourly EMAs, that was your first warning signal. We had a spike above and then a dead cap or, or a move back below them, dead cap bounce and then fell off the table. And that's when we initiated this bearish trend. And we've been bullish since we've entered this four hourly uptrend on the four hourly EMAs. So we really do need to find support around this region. You can see in this ascending channel, the support floor comes in at around about $19.64. You can see we're having a very, very small bounce in the past hour or so. Definitely supported with volume. I, I like the volume that's come in in the past hour. I'd like to see continuation though. However, I'm not planning on picking up any more ape at this moment in time. If we do have a big flush out once again to the downside, this would be indicative Bitcoin's going to have a move down. And then I could definitely look at using that 25% profit I took at $23 to DCA back into the market. Now, if we come over to the daily, definitely a different kind of perspective. We can see a huge, huge rejection candle with a huge amount of selling volume coming in. Now, volume normally does predict price. Uh, this would be indicative that we probably may, may have continuation coming in tomorrow. Uh, the only other time we had selling volume even somewhat near this bearish, uh, we did have continuation for the next day or so. So I would not be surprised if we saw continuation. The bulls are starting to lose control of the daily squeeze bomb. You can see this is firing dark green, indicative that the bulls are losing control. However, if we come over to the Heikonashis, it's a very, very different perspective. Now, if we look at this on the four hour, I don't think the four hour defines it too well, but however, the uptrend on both the uh, daily, um, oh sorry, yeah, the uptrend to the, to the, or the uptrends and the downtrends is what I'm trying to say, are so much better defined by the Hayakunashi candles. And you can see, we're just seeing a huge, huge influx. I, I really do like what we're seeing on the Hayakunashis on Ape. Now, while we have gone down today, you can see if we are measuring this based on the previous candle that we had the, the day before, we are still technically bullish. And this is because Ape had a huge, huge move the past couple of days. And this is allowing uh, the price to stay somewhat afloat during today's uh, move to the downside. So if we're looking at this on the high Kanashis, we have not entered a downtrend. And previously, looking at how the high Kanashis work, you can see you've got a sea of green and an uptrend. The second we get a red candle win, downtrend. The second we start seeing green candles, we start an uptrend. And we haven't had that red candle come in yet. So I think this is really interesting to see how this will play out. Um, 
I want to sit on the sidelines for Ape for the next day or so, and I want to see whether Ape is able to get continuation coming into the next body opening of the Haikonashi candles. If we do get continuation, then, you know, so be it. I imagine Ape Coin will be extremely bullish and we'll be heading back up to these price targets we've been talking about, like $30. However, if Ape does start tearing to the downside and we do get to continuation coming in tomorrow, not only is that extremely bearish, on the Japanese candlesticks because we would have come up, filled our first 1.618, at least to me, uh, that would be indicative that we're coming down to $18. Uh, for me personally, I think if we come down to $18 and have a strong bounce, I'd be personally looking to DCA around those regions. I haven't 100% confirmed that yet. Uh, and once again, this is a great reason why you should join the Discord, because I will be sharing time-sensitive information like that in the Discord. Obviously, I make sometimes 15 to 20 videos a day. A lot of people don't realize how long it takes to record 20 10-minute videos, edit those videos, make thumbnails for those videos, and it takes three times that amount of time just to upload it to YouTube. YouTube is so slow when it comes to uploading videos. So it takes a lot of time to get this time-sensitive information out. However, if you're on the Discord, you can see where I plan on putting in stop losses or where I plan on putting in new trades before everyone else on my YouTube does. So I definitely recommend joining the Discord. It is mainly a place where everyone's going to be sharing memes and having a laugh, but you know, we will be uh, talking about cryptos and all that good stuff in there as well. So that is pretty much all I've got for you for Ape. We are experiencing a lot of chop today, a lot of selling volume. Your oscillators like the money flow indicator and the RSI are having a very harsh rejection. Uh, we are also seeing it's not technically a bearish engulfing candle until we move down below 1935. But this is definitely a bearish candle of some sorts this is a huge bear candle uh, like i said on the haikonashi we're still bullish so if we do see a reversal by tomorrow i will have to imagine that we're still in a very clean uptrend for ape and at which point 30 dollars will still be on the table like i said i took profits at 23 dollars looking to dca back into the market when things look a little bit more bullish right now it does not seem like the time for that uh I, i'm kind of just waiting sitting on the sidelines seeing how these high Kanashis play out so if you like the high Kanashi videos uh let me know down below i'll continue to cover ape on high Kanashis every now and then it won't be like a regular uh, everyday thing uh, however if you do want to learn more about high Kanashis as well i have an educational playlist where i have about 10 videos in there Haikonashis is one of those videos, uh, if you want to learn how they're used, why they're used, how they characterize uptrends, how to calculate them, all that good stuff, it will be in that video, so hopefully you'll find some use in that. Uh, if not, hope to see you in the Discord, that is all I've got for you for Ape today. As far as I can tell, we're still looking very, very bullish. I think we need to sit on this price action for another day, see how it reacts. I'd like us to remain in this ascending channel. If we don't, a retest of the all-time high, $18, and an impulse will be just as good in my opinion. That could definitely keep the high Kanashis alive uh, for another day or so. That's all I've got for you for Ape. As always, none of this is financial advice. It is just my opinion on the market. And as always, cowboy out. Peace.